Hey, hey, hey! WTF, Whiskey Today's Fact, our weekly short series focused on tidbits of truth, with at times speckles of opinion. Today I thought we would chat quickly about the history of distillation that ends up resulting in our shared passion, single malt Scotch whiskey. Did you know that in 1994 Scotland celebrated 500 years of whiskey production? So that must mean it all began in 1494, right? Well, what actually began in 1494 was the first written document that discusses whiskey in Scotland. And it was an order for 1,500 bottles. So we feel sure that whiskey was being produced well before then, right? I mean, do you start with 1,500 bottles not knowing what it's going to yield or be like? I don't think so. So as always, we base what we know upon what we know. And 1494 is the concrete date where we know whiskey existed. Earlier written records discussing distillation focus on exotic perfumes and the transformation of seawater into drinking water. I mean, whatever. Uh, those crazy early scientists wasting thousands of years on perfume and water. <laughs> I guess all industries need foundations to build upon. I suspect, like me, many of you are happy to live in an era where whiskey is not a soon-to-be thing, but rather an on-the-regular thing. Fun fact. If you look at a bottle of Glenlivet, you will see the year 1824 on their bottles. Why? Well, because in 1823, the king, George IV, needed more money. Like me. And by offering all the moonshiners, to use a modern term, an opportunity to go public and legit by paying a fee, he was able to raise more revenue to powder his wig, run his empire, go swimming like Scrooge McDuck. Either way, Len Livet jumped right on board and went legit. And that's whiskey, today's fact, the water of life.